the channel for parents and educators of children with dyslexia. I read what Dr. David Kilpatrick said about orthographic mapping and I'm summarizing it as quick as I can in this video. Orthographic mapping is the storing and immediate effortless retrieval of words in the brain. What is the difference between phonics and orthographic mapping? Well, phonics is sounding out words which is slower and deals with one or two letters at a time. But orthographic mapping is like instantaneous. It's processing all of the letters at once. Orthographic mapping is so essential for reading because it helps with fluency and reading comprehension. We see a string of letters. We associate or match them to the sounds that we hear in spoken words and this gives the strings of letters meaning. Written words are input visually, we see them on paper, but they're stored phonologically in the same area of the brain as oral language. When a string of letters is meaningful and familiar, it can become a unit in our brain. So instead of looking at each individual letter, it's a unit and we remember, oh, IP is IP. So the basic skills needed for orthographic mapping are auditory processing, letter sound skills, phonemic awareness, and word study. Dr. Kilpatrick doesn't mention auditory processing by name, but he does explain the principles. Phonemic awareness is being able to pull apart and manipulate sounds within words, segmenting, blending. Word study, it's basically making those strings of letters familiar to us, which does not happen efficiently if the first components are not in place. This can happen just through reading practice for a lot of kids, which is the whole language approach. Children who need a more direct approach need this to be done in a reading program where they're manipulating words and being exposed to parts of words. 